Diabetes affects millions of people worldwide, and that number is growing. To understand what diabetes is, we need to discuss insulin and what that does to blood sugar. In humans without diabetes, when sugar is consumed, the body breaks it down in the digestive system and then absorbs the sugar into the bloodstream. The pancreas releases a hormone called insulin. Insulin is a key that unlocks the cells and allows the sugar to be absorbed from the bloodstream into the body cells. In diabetics, there's a problem somewhere along the system, depending on the type of diabetes. This is the most severe version of diabetes, and it's unpreventable. People with type 1 diabetes have what is known as an autoimmune disease. This means that the body's immune system attacks itself. It attacks the pancreas, making it unable to produce insulin. The body is unable to make that key that controls blood sugar levels. Therefore, people with type 1 diabetes need to strictly monitor their blood sugar levels and snack often enough to ensure that their blood sugar levels do not drop too low or go too high. Since their body doesn't have a regulatory system that monitors sugar, they have to do it themselves. They have to inject themselves with insulin so they can open up the cells and allow them to absorb the sugar it needs for fuel. Type 2 diabetes occurs when the body produces insulin, but it doesn't produce enough insulin. The body becomes resistant to insulin. In this scenario, insulin is the key to open the cells, but there are multiple locks on the doors requiring multiple keys. This is what gives the stereotype of overweight people having diabetes. Some factors that put people at risk include obesity, family history, high blood pressure, race, physical activity, and age. The exact cause is unknown, but excess belly fat has been linked to type 2 diabetes. This is because they believe that the excess body fat almost creates more locks. The body doesn't make enough keys, so this leads to insulin resistance. Now treatment for type 2 diabetes can vary anywhere from diet control to medications to insulin. Type 1 diabetes is known as insulin-dependent diabetes, or juvenile diabetes, because it usually starts in childhood. These people need insulin. They're 100% dependent on insulin, and without it, they cannot live. Type 2 diabetes is known as insulin-resistant. The body makes insulin, but it's so resistant that it actually requires additional help. Gestational diabetes occurs in pregnancy. The mother is unable to produce enough insulin and control her blood sugars as she could pre-pregnancy. This leads to higher levels of sugar in the bloodstream and gives more sugar to the baby. Once the baby is delivered, gestational diabetes disappears. And diabetes is a huge topic of conversation, unable to put in one video, so I'm actually going to make at least one or two other ones about diabetes, so stay tuned for those. Anyway, if you like this video or found it helpful, like, subscribe, comment, and all that fun stuff. Any feedback is appreciated. Thank you and have a nice day.